Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another For Honor video. Today I'll be making another Shinobi guide. The last one I did was pretty garbage and I feel like I didn't explain anything good. And also you should know be completely different from the last time I made one, but in this one I'll be going over the basic movesets, how and how not to use them in fights, and also some tips, tricks, and the max punishes. If you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, but anyways, let's get right into it. Shinobi is very mobile, meant to be played as a counterattacker. Now when I say counterattacker, I don't mean play Shinobi like this. People who play Shinobi like this honestly give them a bad reputation and let's be real here, nobody likes a Shinobi who stares at you the entire time and only attack when they're guaranteed some damage. It's pretty annoying. If you connect the light attack with Shinobi, you're guaranteed the second light, but if you switch the direction of the second light, it's not guaranteed anymore, but it does more damage. Also, after every single light attack, you can backflip from your opponent. It can, it can also be used as a bait, so say if you backflip and your opponent goes for a heavy attack or dodges board, you can do a ranged guard break, and if you don't know how to do any ranged attacks, it's simple. That's all you do is basically hold down the heavy button, and if you want to go for a ranged heavy attack, you just let it go. Or if you want to go for a ranged guard break, you click X or square, I believe it is, on PlayStation. And then you can go for a ranged guard break. It's pretty simple. Shinobi's heavy attacks does guarantee a light right after. But like I said earlier, if you switch the direction of the light, it won't be guaranteed anymore and you can get parried. Also, if you do catch your opponent in the second heavy attack, you'll get put into the sick rain. And from the sick rain, you're able to do three light attacks that applies bleed to your opponent. And when you apply the bleed to your opponent, any damage you do after that, it'll just be a crap ton of damage. So you might want to, after you apply the bleed, you might want to try to bait something out so you can get another, probably a heavy light in. Or, you know, you can also get two light attacks. It also does a lot more damage when they got the bleed on. But that's a really useful combo. Something I forgot to mention with the ranged attacks is you mostly want to do them when they're guaranteed because it's easily countered and if you get your range heavy parried or your range guard break counter guard broken, you end up on the ground and most likely take a lot of damage. Before the whole shinobi health buff stuff, any mistake you made, you're basically left one shot. Now if you catch your opponent with a range guard break, you're guaranteed a sick or rain mix up. And if you catch him with a heavy attack, you can roll in by clicking A on Xbox or X on PlayStation. And from that, you can do three things. You can either backflip kick your opponent, which drains their stamina. You can go for some light attacks or you can sick rain. If your opponent dodges when you come in for the sick rain, it's guaranteed as long as you go for it in the direction they're not blocking in. And you can also faint the heavy that starts up the sick rain mix up. And if you faint it, you can get a guard break from it when they dodge, but I recommend you guys going for the sick rain mix up because the heavy light from the guard breaks, it doesn't do that much damage and the sick rain obviously does more. Another little tip for the ranged attacks, I never use it, but it's actually really useful. The reason why I don't use it is because of a lot of people still parry it, but I'm going to try to explain this as clear as I can. So after every backflip, you're able to quickly swing your weapons like that. And to do this, you basically, you hit, backflip, and how do I explain this? You switch your guard before you hold your heavy down because a lot of people, they just hold their heavy button down as soon as they backflip, but you want to switch your guard and then hold your heavy he'll quickly switch to that direction but he'll still be swinging in the other and from that you can either go for a range guard break or a range heavy and i'll show you guys an example of that right now let's see go for the range heavy oh i messed up right there then range guard break a lot of people still counter it pretty easily that's probably the main reason why i don't use it often the next three things I'm about to talk about, I'm going to try to get through it quick. I'll be talking about the zone attack, the slide, and the double run. So for the zone attack, it's unpunishable unless you're going against a character who has a follow-up attack after a parry. The only one I can think of right now is probably Lawbringer, but if they were to parry the zone attack right here, they wouldn't even be able to guard break me. And if they miss the guard break, you'll be able to guard break them back, and then you'll be able to get a guaranteed heavy and then follow up with a light attack right after. So for the slide, you don't have to do the double run in order to slide. You can just run, slide, and it's a guaranteed two free light attacks. So for the double run, I use the double run as a bait. A lot of people think that I'm going to slide, and sometimes I do, but you can also double run, and when you're close to your opponent, if they dodge, you'll be able to guard break them, and that's a guaranteed free light right there. So I really just use the slide and the double run as baits. It's probably the best thing to do. Alright, so I know a lot of you have been waiting for this part of the video, and I'll be talking about Shinobi's dash and his kick. 
Shinobi has a double dash move that can be followed up with a kick, and from the kick, you can either get a guaranteed range heavy attack or test your luck and go for a range guard break. I recommend not going for the range guard break though because it isn't guaranteed and most people counter it. You can also backflip after the kick if you miss it to avoid getting hit, but if you connect the kick, it's a guaranteed heavy, so there shouldn't be a reason to backflip and miss out on some free damage. If you cancel on with a kick, there's multiple things you can do. You can have a full mix up going. After you do the heavy from the kick, you can faint the second range heavy into some light attacks. You can go for a zone, or you can faint it into a guard break and follow up with a heavy attack that gives you a guaranteed light right after. Another mix up you can do is after the heavy from the kick, you can do a forward roll. And from this, you have multiple options. You can drain your opponent's stamina with the backflip. You can go for some light attacks, or you can do the sickle rain. You can also faint the heavy that starts up the sickle rain mix up into a guard break. And like I said earlier, if your opponent dodges, you're gonna get the guard break for sure. Now, keep in mind that. After most of these moves, you can backflip right after, so you can still continue all your mix-ups. Alright guys, so now I'm going to explain Shinobi's dash in a way you can do multiple at once. So the regular dash is just a simple double dash. If you want to do multiple, I'll try to explain it as clear as I can. But you basically double dash, hold your heavy button down, and then go for another double dash right after. You can do as many double dashes as you want until you're out of stamina. But I only do up to 4 so I won't completely waste all of it. I'll try to mix it up too so I won't be predictable. When I do a double dash, I'll either go for a kick or some lights. And you can also do a triple dash. It's a really easy way to bait someone to dash for a free guard break. And when I'm going for the quad dash, I normally go for a kick. There's really nothing else you can do after a quad dash. I mean, the timing on the guard break after it is kind of delayed. And the only way you can actually get it is if your opponent reacts kind of late to the quad dash. And then you can just guard break him if he dodges or something. Another tip is for the characters with dashing attacks, you always want to bait them to doom for an easy parry. And most dash attacks are light, so if you end up parrying one, you'll be able to get your sickle rain from it for some big damage. Okay, so now we're on to Shinobi's max punishes. Any attack you parry, you can follow up with a light attack that applies bleed to your opponent. I never use it, honestly. I normally follow up with a guard break from a heavy parry and get the heavy to confirm light attack. Now from any light parry you get a guaranteed range guard break and you can go straight into your sickle rain mix up. One thing that is weird is if you parry your conqueror's light attack you can get your range guard break from it. I don't know why but his recovery is just too quick. If you go for the range guard break he's able to counter guard break it. And I think that's pretty stupid. But I recommend you guys get better at deflecting because if you deflect someone, correct me if I'm wrong, but you get a guaranteed heavy after you do the kick from the deflect as long as you throw out the heavy attack in a direction they're not blocking in. Also, any attack your opponent missed, if you time it right, you'll get a guaranteed range guard break and you can follow up with your sickle range from that too. When someone is out of stamina, the best thing to do with Shinobi is to use your dashes to bait them to dodge because he doesn't have an out of stamina punish, so the best damage you're probably going to get is either going to be from the kick or if they dodge and you catch them with a guard break. But yeah guys, I think I'm going to end my video off right here. Let me know in the comments if you think this was a good guide. I'm not really good at making these type of videos, but I tried my best on this one to be honest. It took me a really long time to make this. So if you guys can drop a like to show support, I'd appreciate it a lot. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.